Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix EA anti-cheat errors with Battlefield 6 game on your Windows computer. Now the first step, the first step is to create a new user account. Now for this, you can open Windows settings. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Go to accounts and then over here, click on other users, click on add account. We will create a local account. Now on this screen, click on I don't have this person's sign in information. And then click on add a user without a Microsoft account. Now you can create a username and if you want password, you can enter the password. If you don't want it, you can just skip it. And once it is created, now click on this drop down option over here and click on change account type and then over here select administrator and then click on OK. Now log out and log in to the new account. So log into this account when you log into your computer and then you can try to launch the game and you should not receive the error. Next is to repair or uninstall and reinstall EA anti cheat. Now for this, you can go to the game installation folder. If you have the game or EA app, click on manage, click on view properties, and then click on open folder. If you have the game on Steam, make a right click, manage, browse local files. This will take you to the game installation folder. Now, over here, uh, you will see EA anti cheat folder. Open this folder, EA anti cheat installer, make a right click, then click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow. Now click on repair and you have to select the game folder. So wherever the game is installed, you can go to the game installation folder. In my case, uh, it is in C drive, open program files, open EA games. If you have the game on C drive from EA app, then you can select the game folder from here. If you have it on Steam, then you have to open program files x86 and then open the Steam folder and then open the Steam apps folder. Open the common folder and then you will find the game folder. So I will select the EA one. Select the game folder and then click on select folder. And let the repair complete. Once the repair is complete, now you can launch the game and then check. This may take a few seconds or maybe a minute. And once you see install success, now you can launch the game and then check still not working. You can uninstall and reinstall EA anti cheat. Now for this, you can click on uninstall all. This will uninstall EA anti cheat for all the game. But when you launch the game again, when you launch the game next time, during the installation, it will reinstall EA anti cheat. Now, if you don't have EA anti cheat folder, in that case, you can copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. So, over here you can see um, it's launching. Now it will install the EA anti cheat. If you don't have EA anti cheat, in that case, you can install it from the EA website. You can go to EA website, key, click on EA Javelin EA anti cheat. This is the official website and let the download complete. Once the download is complete, you can run the exe file. Here you can see it's installing EA anti cheat now. After you uninstall it, when you launch the game from EA app or Steam, it will reinstall EA anti cheat and that should fix the problem. Now, if you have installed the EA anti cheat manually, just run, uh, click on that file and then click on yes to allow. And then you have to repeat the same process. You click on repair, select the game folder and repair and then launch the game. If that does not work, you can uninstall and then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to make changes in the exploit protection for Battlefield 6 exe file. Now for this type in um, exploit protection in Windows search box and then click on exploit protection over here and then go to program settings and then click on add program to customize, choose exact file path 
and then go to the game installation folder and then select the game exe file select the game exe file and then turn open and once you see this prompt you have to put a check on override system settings and if this is on like this you have to turn this off for this also in my case i have already i already did it so override then off override off if it is on off control flow guard if you have to put a check over here in your case this would be unchecked override would be unchecked so you have to put a check and then if this is on you have to turn it off again override off override off make sure everything is off over here so in my case i have already put a check on override system settings and everything is off once you turn off everything now you hit apply now click on yes to allow and then you can launch the game in future if you face any problem and if you want to remove it just you can remove this exe file from here only this exe file battlefield 6 you can click on remove it will remove it will go to default now still you're facing the problem next time to disable or uninstall this zaprit app now many users are using this application if you have this uh, install in computer if you are using it you can disable it or uninstall it and then check if you have crypto pro in, uh, running you can close crypto pro or maybe disable it or uninstall it punk buster also giving the problem you can uninstall punk buster and then you have to delete it from the computer uh, you can find it program file 686 or program files go there and delete this folder uninstall goodbye application if you are running if you are running drop top via rain meter close both its services in task manager as well as close the uh, services and then close it if you are using any third party mouse and keyboard uh, you can use the default driver windows default driver uh, especially if you are using corsair mouse keyboard you can if you are using this icue software you can close this you can uninstall it you can just close this make sure these are not running the task manager make a right click go to task manager and then if these services are running just close it if you are using this 3xs software close this game companion app if you're running close this game companion app if you have product from scan then find menu.exe and close it from the task manager so you have to make a right click on the start menu and go to task manager if you have these services running close it close wipe port wipes vr software as well from the task manager and close this application if you're running daemon tools uh, then you can disable daemon tools in device manager if you make a right click on the start menu and then go to task manager if you have daemon tools running or if you have these applications running you can just uh, close it in my case i don't have it running so you have to make a right click if you find those tools you can just make a right click and then click on end task and for daemon tool you have to make a right click on the start menu go to uh, device manager and you have to disable it from the device manager as well and in my case it's under stories if there was daemon tool in my case i have already in your case you will see disable device option in my case it is already dis disabled under universe serial bus so also if you have this uh, rewsd ds4 windows auto hotkey razor synapse corsair face it anti cheat ride vanguard logitech so make sure that you close these application also close it from the task manager if it is in the there in device manager you can disable it disable xvdd scsi mini port if this if you find this in device manager make a right click and you can disable it so you can even uninstall these application if you have any third party application like vlc codec wallpaper engine etc you can just close it and then check perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration go to the services tab put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all make sure that you put a check over here then click on disable all then hit apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option so go to steam if you have the game on steam make a right click go to properties in the launch option type in dash d3 d11 now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even type in dash dx11 launch the game and then check still not working type in dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can just remove it and then follow the next step now if you have the game on ea app click on manage properties and then over here you can type in dash d3 d11 now save it launch the game and then check if that does not work you can try the same thing dx11 save it launch the game you can even try dx dx12 save it launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this save it follow the next step 
Now the next step is to allow the gaming exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the gaming exe file to your antivirus program. Now if you're using Windows security, then open Windows security in settings, privacy and security, Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it, click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app, browse all apps. Go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file, click on open. And then again, add an allowed app, browse all apps. And this time you select this one, e-anti-cheat game service launcher, open it. And then also open e-anti-cheat over here, select this, add all the exe file over here. Now launch the game and then check. Still not working. Rename settings folder. When you rename settings folder, uh, uh, you will not the settings folder will you will get rid of all the saved settings. So for settings uh, folder, you can find it in the documents. Open Battle, Battlefield 6 folder. Here, here you can see settings. So you can rename it or you can delete it. You will lose all the saved settings when you do do so. Now rename it. Now you can launch the game and then check still not working. Run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So go to the game installation folder. And then you can just make a right click on the game exe file. Go to properties and then go to this tab. Put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply. Click on OK. Launch the game. If that does not work, you can even try Windows 8 version. Hit apply. Click on OK. If that does not work, you can even try Windows 7 over here. Hit apply, click on OK. Put a check on disable full screen optimization. You can even try this, click on OK. And then you can launch the game. When you put a check on all these boxes, still not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes. And then hit apply, click on OK. For, and do the same thing over here. Make a right click. Try to run the game as an administrator using this EA anti-cheat game service launcher. Make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then check. Still not working. The next step is to install Visual C++ file for this. Copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in the browser. It will take you to Microsoft website on this website. Install these two, x86 and x64. Run this exe file. Click on repair. If you see repair, if you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well. And then run this exe file. If you see repair, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Once both are installed, then restart your computer. After the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run EA app or Steam as an administrator. So if you have the game on Steam, then close Steam, exit, and then you can type in Steam and then make a right click on Steam, then click on run as administrator. Do the same thing with EA app. You can close the EA app close it and then you can type in e app and then make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then launch the game next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number make sure that you select your model number and then find the latest bios and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer during the BIOS update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system bios after the BIOS update log into the computer and then launch the game next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different time so uh, if that does not work uh, you can just uninstall the game uninstall the game and uh, if the game is installed to c drive try different drive like d drive or e drive try to install the game to ssd and if the game is already installed to different drive in that case you can try to install the game to c drive and then check Next step is to run this SFC and DSM command. So type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator only and then click on yes to allow and then paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. This process will take some time and once the scan is 100% complete, you can run the second scan. And once the second scan is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Next step is to verify or repair the game files. Now for this, you can go to Steam. If you have the game on Steam, make a right click and then go to properties. Go to install files tab and then click on verify integrated game files. Once the verification is done, launch the game and then check. You can in e app, click on manage and then click on repair. And once the repair is done, check. The last step is to reset Windows 11. So if nothing is working, you can reset your computer. 
but make sure that you create a backup because you will lose all the uh, all the data in the application in the computer. So if you're sure, uh, you can do it. You will lose all the data and application. To reset your Windows, now you can go to settings. You can go to Windows Update, Advanced Option, Recovery Option. Here you can see Reset PC. Here you can see Keep My Files will remove application and settings, but it will keep your personal files. Remove everything will remove all your personal files, apps and settings. So you can select the option which you want and then you can go for local reinstall or cloud download and then just follow the on-screen on instruction and once the reset is complete, now you can launch the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the EA anti-cheat error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.